good evening students welcome to basic electrical lectures uh, we solved uh, uh, problems on dc circuits around 21 problems we solved later i told in video uh, if any other problems you find uh, from your college assignments or while referring uh, some books if you are able to solve some questions you can post to me so like that uh, one of the subscriber uh, of my channel asked for this question and this question is related to first year students first year physics cycle basic electrical engineering okay and others can also be for knowledge enhancement let's see what the question they ask me in the circuit shown determine vad we have to find voltage across voltage between terminals ad they given voltage across 8 ohm and also they ask you determine voltage across 8 ohm resistance but they given the voltage drop across 15 ohm resistance is 45 volt uh, where is 15 ohm resistance 15 ohm resistance is here they given 45 volt here when the switch is open when the switch s is open you should calculate vav and voltage across 8 ohm resistance so this is the question asked by uh, my subscriber so switch is open means you need not to connect this one okay from here to here you need not to connect so it is open which is open the switch is open means then the circuit will be like this guys this type of questions vtu uh, did not did it ask but they can ask because it comes under dc circuits but uh, the circuit is in puzzle type okay now look at it whenever you come such type of questions you mark the dots you mark the dots and give some small names like small a small b small c and small d just give some names now you rearrange this circuit now look at here capital a is connected to small a so this is capital a is connected to small a like that you should write now a is connected to b a is connected to b by 1 transistor 35 ohm resistance so a is connected to b So we are taking here what is the resistance value? 35 ohms. Next, B is connected to D. D is connected to D by what resistance value? 15 ohm resistance. So D I am taking somewhere here. So B is connected to D. B is connected to D by 15 ohm resistance. Then next, uh, B to D is connected. Then A is connected to C. A is connected to C by 8 ohm resistance. Where I should write C? Shall I write here or here or here? Anywhere you can write. Okay, that is you are convenient. For simplicity, no, I am going to write A value. Sorry, C value somewhere here. Okay, C value somewhere there. Now A is connected to C. A is connected to C by what resistance? 8 ohm resistance. So that I can write like this. A is connected to C by 8 ohm resistance. Like this also you can write. Like this also you can write. Need not to write. Then C is connected to D. C is connected to D by what resistor? By the ohm resistor. C is here. D is here. Okay. Now C is connected to 22 ohm. C is connected to D. C is connected to D by 22 ohm resistors. Then later D small D is connected to capital D. So small D is here. So it is connected to Capital B, and what is the question they asked? Uh, this is the circuit. This one and this one both are same. Now all students got how to do further. Let's see. Uh, they given voltage across 8 ohm resistance. We have to find. But what is the data given? 15 ohm resistance voltage is 45 ohm. So they given voltage across this 15 ohm resistance is how much? 45 volt. They are asking us what is the voltage connector across the uh, connector between the terminals A and B. Some voltage is connected. You have to find out that voltage. I know the voltage across this resistor. I need to find voltage across this resistor. So this and this both are connected in parallel. How much voltage you got here? Same voltage you get here also. See now. See 35 and 50 both are connected in series. Same current flows. But for this resistor. We know the voltage and resistance value, so we can easily find current in that resistor. What is current formula? I is equal to 
V by R. What is voltage? 45. What is the resistance? 15. So we got 3 ampere current flows in that resistor. Later, same current flows in 35 ohm resistors. Now, 3 amperes into 35. The current into resistors, if you multiply, what you will get? Voltage drop across this resistor. So, 35 into 3. So, how much you get? Uh, 3 pi is 15. 3 to the 9 plus 1. Okay, 105. So, 105 volt will be here. This and this are connected in series. 105 plus 45. How much? 150 volt. So, A is connected here. B is connected to B. So, whatever voltage here, same voltage will be here. So, what is the voltage connected across A and B? 150 volt. The answer for this question uh, determine VAV is 150 volt. First part is done. What is second part? Voltage across 8 ohm resistor. See, now 8 ohm is here, 22 ohm is here. So, these two are connected in series. 22 plus 8, how much? 30 ohms. Whatever the voltage we have here, same voltage will be here also. So, now, this voltage how much? 150. 150 by resistance. What is the resistance? 22 plus 8, 30. Voltage by this resistance, you will get this current. Voltage is 150. Okay, resistance is 30 ohms. So, we will get 5 ampere. What is the current flows here? 5 ampere. So, whenever current and resistance multiply, voltage drop will take place. What, what is voltage across 8 ohm resistance now? 8 phase of 40 volts. So, the voltage across this 8 ohm resistance is 40 volt. Now, same current flows here. Same current flows here, 5 ampere. Now, 22 into 5. 22 into 5, how much? 110 volts. 110, with 110 plus 40, how much? 150. Got it? So, the answer is VAB is 150 volt and voltage across 8 ohm resistance is 40 volt. Guys, mark this question. Okay? Got it? This question sent by the subscriber to my WhatsApp number. So, it, is, it feels interesting to me. That's why I saw it. Okay? They won't ask this type of questions, but if they ask like this, you have to rewrite like this. We done all the problems in this way. Okay, this type we didn't done because it is not important in university exams. But they can ask. But they can ask. So guys, okay, give like to our video and subscribe. Tell your friends to watch my videos. So let them score well. Okay. Have a nice day.